Je suis un Kanule Ododo. I'm sorry my boys ill treated you. Kanule Ododo. Oh yes, I, I was sure you were the one they were sent to me. I'd like this discussion to be as amiable as possible. Mr. Kenule Ododo, leader, Coastal Fighters Group, led five violent... Those demonstrations were never meant to be violent. But they were, my friend. They were! They were! And that's why they sent me here to interrogate you. Because of old time's sake. Because of friendship. So don't stare it. I know the civil war taught you impatience, so don't start. I advise you talk to me as best as you can so I can help you. Kenule, I I'm sorry I had to shout at you. But you see, the, the language of communication is not easy, especially from a policeman to a suspect. Oh, yes. And of course, you know the line that divides friendship and duty. Yes, friendship from duty. And that was why we both chose different ways to serve our nation after the war. Good. But the way you have chosen only breeds violence. No. It rather amplifies the voice of the people. It does? Oh, I see. Then I sympathize with your cause. Because some things are better left for God to judge. That is where you go wrong, Adolphus. You think God just sits there and watches people beaten and plundered? No. In the silence, he speaks to us. Go, my children, and fight your battles yourself. Mm. Now you're being prophetic. But you also read in that same Bible that when you're slapped on the right cheek, you also turn the left to be slapped? We, the people of the coast, are not that foolish. You give us a slap on the right cheek, you should expect three violent slaps. And that portion of the scripture was never meant for us. Well, at any rate, let's get to the business that brought us here. I guess a word may not be enough for the wise. Kenule, I expect that this discussion should be without animals. Where are you hiding the expatriates your group kidnapped? I am bored with the same questions for the past 72 hours. Where are you keeping them, man? I don't know anything about it. It's a pity they have taught you a different kind of impatience. No decorum, even to friends. I told you a line separates friendship from duty. You're not speaking. I am. You're not. There is speaking in silence. The silence of the common man is full of words. It is full of speeches that cannot be heard even if they are altered. Adolphus, you have changed. Come on. Were you not the same soldier who carried me on your back? Trudging along with painful strides for nearly two kilometers when I was shot during the war. In my faint consciousness, I could see tears gliding down your cheeks and heard your heart echoing that you would risk every bullet to get me to the camp. Yesterday is a memory, my friend. You're not the same soldier who shared my idea of a better country if and when the corrupt and tyrannical government was overthrown? I have not changed my mind. Oh, yes, you have not. But your memory should have not been so clouded as to forget our discovery after the war. But that was old times. Things are different now. The new government is trying. Oh, there is nothing new about the government. It's the same old wine in a new bottle. They carry the regimented values of old politicians. Listen, our anger will do nothing to help this situation. We must support the government. Oh yes, we must, but I must support my people. Call it tribalism if you like. But I must tell you that a mistake is committed by a mistake. I once supported the government in a senseless war. I regret it now because that same government turned me into an outcast with poverty written all over my forehead. Oh, I see. Now you make me feel you're a poor man. You don't live in the slums where the real poor people live. You 
I have no right to say my people live in slums. It is you and the government whom you serve that live in slums. Because you see, their conscience is stained with the blood and sweat of my people. Those who thrive on the blood of others are not fit for palaces. You talk as if I'm an errand boy. I'm only doing my job, my duty to my nation. Oh yes, your duty. But once you wear the garments of a thief, you become a thief. There is no honorable thief. Mm. You know, you have a way of teaching people on how to live. When actually, in the real sense, we are the ones who need the lessons on how to live. It is the government whom you serve, whom you work for, that need lessons on how to lead, how to govern. Oh, yes. Oh, that is it. That is it. We glorify the devil and then justify the saints. And we never pause to think or question or ask ourselves the devil's own side of the story. Kanuli, I do not want this interrogation session prolonged unnecessarily. The lives of two expatriates are in your hands and you need to release them as quick as... I do not know what you're talking about. Kanuli, you need to be civil in your agitation. It is the government who must listen to the voice of the people. There are many voices to listen to. The government cannot listen to the, every voice of every man on the streets. The government... Listen, transformation only happened gradually. Who said they should? I mean, but let them take a man from the streets. Listen to his voice. See frustration in his heart. That will be the only resonance with which our suffering can be measured. Kanuli, I implore you, for old time's sake, for friendship's sake, please tell me, where are you keeping the expatriates? I promise you I would use my influence and get you amnesty from the government. <laughs> Adolphus, I will not co to your antics and to that government of yours to whom you pledge absolute allegiance. They are our governments. We put them there with our vote. No, we don't. The people we want never win. And even if they do, they turn out to be people we don't want. Now, time and history have taught me that the first loyalty lies with my people and then my stomach. ASP Wariboko, have you forgotten? Have you forgotten what we experienced during the war? The hunger, the suffering, the trauma of killing our own people. Have you forgotten the incident where I killed my own blood because of blind loyalty? Despite his cries. Despite his pleas, I thought I was doing the best thing for my country. You see, my friend, years have covered those scars and memories now. Oh no, Adolphus, that is where we go wrong. We need to atone. We need to ask for forgiveness from both God and man. Years after, that event still comes back to me vivid. Think of it. You shot a helpless man in the back. Six hot leads into the spine of a man you called brother. I know, I know. But this is no moment for stirring emotions. There is no moment apportioned for truth. The truth must be told at all times. Yes, I know. War is only sweet to those who do not fight. But I must tell you, Kenule, that this is no moment for memories. We must face why we are here. Oh. Oh, yes. I know why you do not want to know. I know why you do not want to hear about this. Hear what? 13 years old. No, no, no. Don't, don't talk about oh, it. Man. Don't talk about that. Adolphus, Adolphus, I'm not blaming you for that. I am not blaming you. Look, I could have done it too. I could have been part of it too. That frail girl. She was very frail. You took her to the bush. You muffled her strength. And you forcefully took her. She couldn't resist you because you had knocked her off. That devilish canal intrusion. And you didn't even wait after the shame to see if she was dead. Time is running out here, my friend. Look, I am not blaming you, Adolphus. I am only saying that senseless war provided an excuse for moral chaos. 
I could have done it too. I could have gone to the bush with you. But I also killed a woman. My own mother. God, the peril of my birth was an unfortunate demise. I know so many things happened during the war. And I've come to realize the war of any kind is dangerous to the existence of man. No, no, Adolphus, you're wrong. It's our inhumanity to one another. Government that is insensitive to the voices of the people. You keep blaming the government. What about the atrocity the common man commits every day? Oh, you're right, friend. You're right. But that is where our lessons will start from. And so what is the blame of the government in this? When the common man himself commits, he commits to each other atrocities, dangerous effects, dangerous you things. You talk like this because you don't live where these people live. Tell me. You don't steal the land like you do. Okay. You don't wake up early in the cold, easy morning to find out that all your fishes are dead. The dignity of these people is being crushed by people who have no stakes in their lands. Kanule, save me of all of that. It is not within the ethical framework of my profession to give rooms for digression. The people are watching. The government is embarrassed. The national image is plunging. Where are you keeping them, man? I don't know what you're talking about. Don't tell me you don't know what I am talking about. Where are you keeping them, man? You're taking levity for granted. Oh yes, I know the line that cuts friendship from duty. Good. For once you have failed to bottle up your anger. It's not my anger, it's my job, my duty. Oh yes, your duty. We learned that during the war too. Oh, we learned how to prey on innocent citizens in our lines of duties. Spare me the memories of war, Kenule. The lives of two or five expatriates are in your hands. You kidnap them. It is my duty to protect them. Oh, and save your country. International embarrassment. So you know. Come on, tell me. What has this nation done to you? What has the government done to you? What have you done to the country? This country doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the few who have made it a hell for others. It is a place where our leaders have destroyed all variables of human construct. It still does not mean that... Oh, yes. Everything functions here. The function. Can you see it? It doesn't matter. The people themselves, you should ask them. Even when there is no light, their heart thrives in darkness. This is not a problem of the government. The people themselves must learn to love light in their hearts. Oh, yes, in their hearts. And that is if they have hearts left. Kanule, you have 20 minutes between you and that torture chamber. <laughs> Adolphus. <laughs> I have been tortured all my life. I it, find no fear in that threat. It's no threat, my dear. Listen, right here, the friendship stops. When you're taken in there, it is totally different. I will not be there with you. Oh, yes. The friendship. I remember. We used to be good friends during the war. Spare me. Wow. Do you remember our secret deflections into the bush? Communal fellowship with marijuana. The strands of our ears erect, eyes bulged and reddened. And then in those high moments, we would sing the national anthem. Mm. Nigeria, we hail thee on your native land. Uh, those right and tongue may differ in brotherhood we stand. And then in those moments, we would stand side by side with a parade and a cover party. <clears throat> Standard eyes, pay chun. Standard eyes, pay chun. Quick march, one, two. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was a moment of friendship, but we lost friendship. Friendship stops when hearts no longer speak the same language. Oh, 
But we are still friends, Kenule. Either way you say it, but as I told you earlier, there is a clear demarcation between friendship and duty. Oh, yes, I know. Good, so where are they? Who? The men. Which men? The expatriates. Which expatriates? The ones your group kidnapped. Are you serious? I am dead serious, man! Oh, God, you're funny. <laughs> we will see. I did not kidnap those men. Interesting! So now you see I have to take you out of the hands of friendship. Your group are responsible for the kidnapping of five expatriates and eight violent protests in five years? Those demonstrations were not meant to be violent. They were staged to be peaceful. But hungry hoodlums took over and they were meant to score particular points. Good, my friend. So tell me, what points could you have wanted to score by having no dignity for the life of fellow human like you? They are not my fellow men. They plunder my people. They destroy their environment. Do a lot of atrocities. And you're telling and us... so hostage-taking is the solution? I was no party to the hostage-taking. And I will not stand and watch the rape on my people. Look, I am only trying to pay the price for my betrayal. Imagine. My bullets have felled hundreds of my people in a senseless war. This is the time to cover my shame, my betrayal. So now you want to be a hero? A hero? Oh no, I will never be. Not even an unsung hero. But I will not be a hero like the leaders you serve. Those who build monuments with the money meant for their people. You know we sing the praises of so many heroes outside this nation. But we fail to realize that we should sing our people too. Oh, don't you ever mistake giants for heroes. What you have here are giants. We'll throw you back to yesterday with unfulfilled promises. Mmm, Kenule, I remember. I remember we used to talk about giants and heroes during the war. Oh yes, giants and heroes. Yes, And I remember we used to be a hero. <laughs> our hero? Oh yes, our hero. I don't remember. Okay. Our hero. What, what do you... Che! Che! Che Guevara, the asthmatic Argentine doctor turned gorilla rebel, Che Guevara. <laughs> yes, I remember. And I remember the South African song. Che Che Kule, Che Che Kule, Che Kule. It was our song. Che Che Kule, Che Che Kofisa, Kofisa Langa, Langa Tilanga. Kum alele kum alele kum alele kum kum alele kum vi salanga kum vi salanga kum che kumera ah che ah man war is bad war never brings out the good in anybody only peace makes sense during war you, you remember how the fathers hoisted their sons' bears on their shoulders and how gunshots tore apart the flabby breasts of old women. Not again. Oh, the memory hurts. Listen. Kenule Ododo, leader, coastal fighters group. You are giving me the name I don't bear. There is only 20 minutes between you and that torture chamber. The torture chamber is designed for men. It is tactless, my friend. Because when you are in there, you realize that you should have cooperated with me. There is nothing I will do that I have not done. There is no point with this terrorism. I am not a terrorist. You are a terrorist. Shut up! Dolphus. I told you. I told you a line separates friendship and duty. Oh, yes, I remember. Good. Good. At about 5.40 p.m. on Tuesday, where were you? The same place I was when I was arrested. Answer me straight. Oh, our people say that it is what a man likes that kills him. I was at the beer joint in Brutu at that particular time. Good. The kidnapping happened at that same time in Forcados. And every suspicion points in your direction. Oh, don't be confused, Adolphus. I couldn't have been at Brutu and Forcados at the same time. It is possible, my friend. It is what we call alibi. Yes. 
You claim to be somewhere else perpetrating crime in another place. Oh, then the proper name should be called magic. It's no joke. Listen, the international community is watching. Our democracy is under threat. Our democracy has never been stable. It is a scrotum of a madman and it swings restlessly. You remember this was the reason why we fought the war. So the, we can have a united nation. The reason for the war was lost before it began. Kenule, at about 9.40 p.m., that same day you left the drinking joint. Oh, so you found out? Yes. Where did you go to? Oh, you ought to know. Where did you go to? I said you ought to. Answer me, man! Adolphus. I have known you for 30 years and you dare raise your, your hands against me. I ask you, where did you go when you left the drinking joint? All right, to my house. Liar! Liar! You left for somewhere else, not your house. I left for a meeting with my group. Where? We are under oath not to disclose our points of meeting. I guess as much. So, when did you come back? From where? When did you come back from a meeting to your house? Sometimes early in the morning. And that's when, after you have taken them hostages? After you've taken the hostages? I was no party to the hostage taken. Maybe you're not a party to it, Kenule. But maybe your group kidnapped these people. I am the leader of the group, and I dictate all our modes of action. Good! Very good! You dictate all modes of action. And then you turn around and shout democracy. I can see they are paying you well for image laundry. Kenule, maybe you did not even dictate this particular kidnapping. Maybe your group, out of impulse and loyalty, decided to do this on your behalf. My group would take no such action without my knowledge. Listen, Kenule, you are my friend. Oh. Friend. Oh, you are my friend. And my brother, too. Brother. That same word we use so often but never know its meaning. Yes, you are. I'll tell you, Kenuli. You remember in primary school, you, I, and Bina. God bless his memory now. And you remember those moments we used to share. The moments we played together. Those are the moments that define our brotherhood. Oh, yes, then duty came and the cords of brotherhood snapped. Oh, and then... We decided to join the National Army as brothers again. Oh, yes, we're young then. We thought we were doing the best thing for our country. We thought killing our own brothers was the same as keeping our country together. Well, that was yesterday. Things have changed now. Oh, it was indeed yesterday. The yesterday that is so full of unfulfilled promises. Kenule, I ask you in the name of the law, where are you keeping them? Adolphus, you asked earlier in the name of brotherhood. I told you I knew nothing about it. You don't expect me to say otherwise now that you ask in the name of the law. Your law, which I hold in disregard. Your group kidnapped five expatriates and you denied it? There was no point in the denial. And that was why we released them without hassles. And we have vowed and fought to take responsibility for our actions. You expect me to fall for that? Oh, you know? I don't expect you to trust a word from a mouth of a suspect, even if he's a friend and a brother. You keep mixing friendship and duty oh, together. No, I stopped when that slap landed on my face. God. Kenule, you see, I'm sorry. You I don't need to apologize. You don't need all that. I could have done it too if the situation were the other way around. But look, that was the same reason I killed my own blood in a senseless war, taking delight in seeing the mangled flesh of human corpses. Brother, you are traumatized. I am not. I just look back in anger at those senseless moments. You know, I, I can't just imagine the endless impossibilities of war. Oh, today, brothers are taking arms against brothers. Brothers. Brothers? Yes. Brothers. That word must come to find its meaning again within us. With all the pains of the past? It doesn't matter. 
You yourself said it. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow, the pains will go away. And again, brothers will come to find brothers. They will come from the north, from the south, from the east, and we will bond together. And that is the dream we have of a new nation. Well, you, you, you lighten up a fire in me. Yes, that's the vision of a lifetime, brother. With friendship and brotherliness. Trust and unity. Oh, God. But first, we must finish the business while we are here. What business again? Time is running. It is important. Oh, but, but, but you... Don't bot me. We, we don't have time here. But we just talked about vision now. Not in the line of duty, my friend. What about all the talk of friendship and brotherhood? I said don't bring that into my work and my duty. Oh, God. I suspected. I should have known. Good. So where are they? Who? The expatriate. The men we are looking for. How am I supposed to know the men you are looking for? Don't dear me. Don't frustrate me. Oh, come on, brother. Kenule, don't call me brother until you cooperate with me. What about our talks of friendship, brotherhood, and vision? Kenule, you are getting on my nerves. Calm down, friend. Don't tell me to calm down. I am not your friend. You are going to tell me. I don't know a thing. Kenule. Kenule, you know, and you are going to tell me right now. I don't not talk to me. Now, I, where are you keeping them? I don't know. Where are you keeping them? I don't know. Pick up, man! The door. Someone's at the door. Shut the door. Someone's at the door. It's not your business with the door. Talk to me. Hey, brother, brother, you will not kill a fellow kinsman because of a senseless interrogation. Oh. Those three words. Brother? Kingsman? Senseless. Those words that got you furious. But I won't let that come in line of duty. You will speak up right now. Where are you keeping them? The door, the door. Where? It's not your business. And what the hell is at the door? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I think I saw it. 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 I think I'm sorry about oh God, spare me. You don't need all that. Thank God I'm a free man now. 
And I must say, I've learned a lot about you in this very short moment. But I must ask, when will I be released? Because the fish and the beer and the too are already waiting for me. Well, I can assure you, you will leave as soon as possible. But don't forget. Don't forget everything we have discussed. Our vision for a new nation. Oh, yes, I will remember that. And don't forget, we are brothers. Oh, yes. And friends. Brothers. And I love you. I love you as a brother, man. Um, Kanule, I'd like you to do me a favor. I'd like you to think of a way that your group can be supportive to the government. Oh, yes. I was thinking of taking a time out after this old trauma and find something beneficial for my country. Good. That is the spirit. Kanule Ododo, my friend. That is the spirit. And keep that spirit alive. Don't forget our song. Yes, I Che Che Kule. Che Che Kule. That keeps us going. Che Che Kule. <laughs> che Che Kule. Che Che Kule. Kofi Salanda. Kua Tilanda. Kum. Halele. Kum. Halele. Kum. Halele. Kum. Halele.